Welcome back inside the Crossbreed Holster Studios. I'm talking with barbecue master, world-renowned Mr. Ben Lang himself. Ben, let's start with the cooker. Let's give out some recipes. Let me start by saying this before I turn you loose here. To, directly to the listener, if you've ever seen an offset, we're talking about a stick burner here, an offset cooker. Some of you may know it as that. You've walked through Home Depot or whatever your favorite store is or a Lowe's, and you've seen various store brands of the offset cookers with the smokestack up on the left, the cooking chamber, and then over to the right, you've got the offset box where your coals or your wood goes. This one, theater of the mind with the reverse flow, you've got the same type design except the smokestack is on the other side of the top of the cooking chamber closest to the firebox. That's the reverse flow where the smoke comes down and heat comes down underneath the baffles, then comes up over the top of the cooking grates and back out that chimney, giving you, and what I can tell you from firsthand experience, is nearly perfect even heat throughout the cooking chamber. You don't have to constantly shift that meat from the hot side to the cool side, etc. That's what we're talking about with these stick burners. Ben Lang, welcome back. Tell us, what is a stick burner and how do we get the process started? All right. Um, a stick burner is split pieces of dry wood, usually hardwoods um, that are, you know, common to the area that you're in. You can use lump charcoal. It works fine um, as a base and then use wood for flavoring. But the idea is uh, you've got a, a thicker machine in a, in a Lang barbecue smoker. It's quarter inch material through and through, and it's all welded construction. So what happens is you've got to give it some warmth to get the temperature up. So you need some good lump charcoal or some good dry split wood to get the cooker hot. And in doing so, you've got a bed of coals and embers, and then you can start cooking. You can load the meat up, and it starts to cooker, the cooker starts cooking. And as you're cooking, your burn times run about every 45, 50 minutes. You need to throw a stick of wood on a bed of coals to keep it going another 45, 50 minutes. Mm -hmm. Some folks prefer a 30-minute burn time, two small pieces. It's it's up to the individual. The idea is the heat flowing under and over the meat cuts down on the cooking times. In other words, you're not going to have near the effort in terms of producing heat and generating it for a long period of time like you do in a, on other cookers. Um, the laying itself diminishes cooking times. I'm sure you've been able to find that out with your oh, so. I absolutely have. I thought I was doing something wrong, and I realized I'm cooking yeah. at 225, and I'm cooking better. Yeah, exactly. The heat uh, is hotter, and it, it's rolling under and over the food, so it gets done in, in less time. What else you'll find about your smoker cooker, the, the Lang barbecue smoker cooker, is that it is also a grill. It gets hot enough to sizzle and sear any kind of food at any temperature. 350, you can cook a, a brisket or chicken legs quarters at 350, all at the same time and get perfect results. Folks in my cooker can cook a five, six hour brisket at 350 and it be jam up, slice perfectly, <laughs> taste great, everything. Prime rib, doesn't matter. Now, don't get me wrong, you can low, slow cook at 250 and 225 and all those things for as long as you want and get dynamite results. But when the job needs to get done and you need to get it finished, you can crank the heat up to 300, and it's not going to hurt those pork butts one bit. And it's easy to crank the heat up on the Lang because of the way the design is set up with the baffles on both sides plus the chimney. Everything is so precision. You can move that a quarter. And I did. I, I, I play with the cookers just for fun to learn how to work them. I love, to me, a, a hobby of mine is the fire management itself. And I, I spent a good two to three days to four days getting to know it before I even put meat on. It was wonderful. All right, let's 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 give a recipe out. What's a favorite right, recipe before, at before, your place? Before we go to the recipe, let me share one last thing about your cooker. Please do. The cooker that, that you, you picked out um, is, is a model called a hybrid series. It's a 36 hybrid series. Uh, it's our famous 36 smoker cooker. And then in the same cylinder, separated from the smoker cooker, is a charcoal grill, so you can simultaneously do one or the other. That hybrid 36 series, this is the second year in a row it's won as a top 10 multi-purpose grill in, in the world, you know, in the nation, mm -hmm. by, a, by a, um, you know, a, um, a category that's established uh, for all 500 products they go through. So that, that model, that 36 hybrid, is that popular that uh, it's, it's, it's got that award twice in a year or twice and, in, in two years, you know. And I love it because I'll, I'm smoking over on one side of it, and I'll, I'll, I, I did some jerk chicken, some laid-out, you know, uh, flat-laid-out flat chicken breast or, or whole chicken, 
that was jerking over on one side over here over the direct heat. And it, it, I mean, just, I mean, I look at this thing and I think, look at this. I look magical. I love this thing. This thing is just absolutely beautiful. Well, it, you know, talking about recipes now, I, like I told you in the beginning, you know, the, this cooker is so good, you can dust off an old recipe and it'll pop again. It'll, it'll jump like it's never jumped in terms of flavor. Um, that's because of the way it punches flavor into food with that fat rendering on that griddle and that real moisture and flavor that's imparted in the food. Can you give um, us a recipe real quick? Now, let me check well, here's, with, um, here's what I was going to tell you about recipes. I'm going to give them a bunch of recipes. Uh, the best source of recipes is through our website with our blog, recipe blog. It's there at uh, langbarbecuesmokers.com. There's a recipe blog there. There's also a social media um, area of Facebook's, uh, the Lang Smoker Cookers Facebook site has lots of recipes on it. Also, the Lang Smoker Owners recipe, or site has a lot oh, of uh, uh, tremendous feedback. Amount. Yeah, feedback and, and recipes from individuals doing the cooking. It's amazing how... Um, you know, three or four thousand of our customers are on one social media sharing tips and ideas, and it's become one of the biggest resources we've all had, just the ability to have everything right at your fingertips. And that's Lang Smoker Owners, and you're more than happy to take a look at that. Um, you don't have to own the cooker to join it. You just can't be peddling anything on there. Um, but uh, it's moderated by, by the owners themselves. And it's but, wonderful uh, because I got a really warm reception on there when I first went out there, and I threw some photographs of what I was doing, and people were – everybody's just thrilled. It's like, look, another family member. That's what it feels like. Go ahead. Yeah, exactly. Um, as far as, as recipes and stuff, it's it's the tried and true stuff that everybody's done. Just remember, less is more. Don't overdo it. Don't just keep putting stuff on it. Uh, uh, sprinkle it on there. Put it on there in a manner that it does its job, but don't overdo it. Um, I've asked winners of grand championships, and at the end of the, con- the deal, and ask them, say, "Well, what set you apart from the other 150 folks here? Why did you win?" And they'll tell me, "Less is more. I, I didn't overdo it. I kept it real simple." And and I can understand that. You know, um, my wife doesn't even like the food sauced up. I mean, she loves sauce, but she'd rather have it straight seasoned, cooked coming right off the cooker like it, the Lang produces, the perfect bark and everything. That's her wheel. She loves that. That is that is exactly what she, the way she wants it. Now, sauce, she wants it on the side. She'll dip all she wants. But the recipes um, are there um, to, to, to look at and glean from. Um, a lot of good stuff through the years we've archived there for folks to go to, uh, everything from corned beef to, to smoked bologna. You know, every, every oh, day. that's one of my favorite. And that's, that's something that is overlooked an awful lot. We've, we've got one minute before the break. Let me tell you how I okay. do mine to take it to let the me, break. Let, I get let, about, me share something, let me share something real quick on the rest about of About 45 thing. seconds. Go right ahead. No problem. I wanted everybody to know and you to know this is our 30th year. So what we've done is we've got our signature series of sauces and rubs. It's an old yeller and an original red. And they're excellent for spicing up foods and, and making it pop. And you can blend them together and get results. It's just second to none. And can we get those on the Lang Barbecue Smokers yeah, everything, site? Yeah, everything's there at the website. Uh, and uh, one of our competition teams has done real well with ribs um, seasoning Beautiful. up with the, with the seasonings, too. All right, we'll be right back with Ben Lang to wrap up this hour. I want to give you that bologna recipe. It's real simple to do, and it's something that's overlooked and is absolutely dynamite. And we'll talk more with Ben Lang from Lang Barbecue Smokers, langbbqsmokers.com, over Memorial Day weekend. Hope you're cooking. 